Alright guys, got my SS Squid tuning chip. So I'm just gonna do a quick how to install. Here it is here. There's a chip. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my DME. Here's my computer. Pretty basic. Uh, I'm trying to keep it quick and simple so you don't have to watch an hour-long video on how to do this. Really easy. Um, T20 Torx. Take the screws out. You can have all these little tabs. You'll bend all those little tabs. Use a flathead screwdriver. If you know how to, if you're doing this yourself, I, I assume you already know how to do that. So, no reason to, no reason to waste time showing you how to bend a tab. So let's just go ahead. I already got these loose. Take that off. Take the cover off. Simple enough. Then we have the inside of the computer. Looks like this. And here's your chip right here where you're going to replace. Really simple. So we're essentially just going to, you know, see this little plastic clip that's going to hold, that holds the original chip in there. So we're just going to go ahead and put our little flathead screwdriver into this little slot here. Pry up there. Pry up there. That comes off. Pretty simple. I got this little pry thing from my, uh, from my cell phone repair kit that I have. So you're just going to put it right here. Don't want to push against the capacitors or anything. So you want to make sure you leave this alone. And I just kind of push this way and that way, kind of back and forth like that. I don't want to use a screwdriver because I have a habit of breaking stuff. So I've got to be as careful as I can, as often as I can. And once it's loose, I'm just going to pull it up. And then the new one is essentially the original chip. If you look at them, you see that little line there. And there's no line on this side. So this line is going to face, this little groove here is going to face the same direction as the OEM. I guess the only thing that I wasn't too sure about was a little groove there and which way it, it went. So you know, this is the way it goes. So, okay, now we got the SS Squid tuning chip in there. Super easy, very simple. Just pop your clip back over there. And I'm just going to put it back together. And that's it. It'll get much easier than that. And I don't have to worry about starting the car up and having to tune idle and having to tune partial throttle and drivability issues or all the other stuff. We just pop the chip in and go. All right, that's it. All done. Pretty quick and easy. SSSplitTuning.com. Check them out. Uh, I think the hardest thing was saving up the money to buy the chip. Otherwise, hopefully the car will be running in the next couple weeks. And just check me out on my Facebook and Instagram page, I Do Drifting, uh, where I'll be posting more videos of the car once it's running and going to different events.